All right, here at the home, just wanted to walk through real quick what we're looking at as far as painting and uh, some wood repair uh, goes. So just wanted to highlight, kind of show you uh, what to expect um, when we would come out and do the paint job. So we would be doing the siding and the trim, so this yellowish color and the blue color, um, and anywhere that the pink is. Um, currently, we're not doing the front of the home, which includes the wraparound porch area here, so none of this would need to be done. All this has been done recently, so we'd be starting at this corner here, and that brings us to our first point. Uh, there's some soffit repair that's needed up in this corner. Um, that's the first wood repair that needs to be done, and then we'll just follow along here, and you can see up in this corner, it's kind of hard to see, but um, there's some soffit repair up here as well. It's minor, um, but uh, some software repair up there. So um, the storm windows um, We'd actually not be painting the inner window. We'd just be painting the frame the, the metal frame that's already been painted um, So you're, you'll have a separate price for that um, So that's not included in the main pricing um, But as you can see there is potential lead on on the home uh, Lead-based paint, so we'll need to make sure we remediate that um, just make sure we get rid of that after we do all the scraping, which you can tell a lot of it's going to come off. So um, <clears throat> this is probably the worst side, though. The rest of the sides aren't as bad. So um, just wanted to highlight that. Um, there was one other area that I found that needed to be replaced, and it's right up here, this fascia board. Um, it's kind of hard to see from here, but this fascia board right here needs to be replaced. So about a four-foot section right there. You can tell at the end it's uh, kind of uh, sunken in and looks like there's some rot on it. And then you'll see stuff like that where stuff has been puttied before. That probably just needs to be re-puttied. It's probably not to the point where it needs to replace. But again, you can see some of the peeling that's going on on this side. And this, again, this is probably the worst side that we're looking at right now. So we'll go to the back. A little bit more wood repair on the back. Um, but again, doing the same thing, we're doing the siding and the trim. So I'll step back here. Again, this side's not really bad. Um, upper portions have a little bit of peeling on them. Um, but there is some crown molding as you look across uh, the top that needs to be replaced. So especially in the middle right here, there's some crown that needs to be replaced over here. There's a little bit of crown that needs to be replaced. And then over here, you can see a little bit of crown. So you may end up having to replace all the crown along the backside, but uh, you could determine that. We can piece it in. We can replace the whole thing. Um, you could let us know on that. Uh, as far as I, as far as the way I priced it, I just priced it um, just to kind of patch in the crown molding that's uh, currently bad. So this little shed area we'd be repainting. Um, and then walk over to the final side here. I just wanted to highlight, there is a piece of siding down here that needs to be replaced. Um, we had talked about you replacing the lower portions and I just wanted to make sure you knew about that. Um, homeowner uh, was not as concerned about these areas um, as far as the wood being potentially bad. So um, we could just fill those with an epoxy and paint over those. Then you've got this side here, so the siding and the trim on this side, a little bit more wood repair um, on this side. So you've got crown molding up here um, that needs to be replaced, and it's probably about a four to five foot section there. And then you've got above the chimney, you've got a little bit more of the soffit, the fascia, and a little bit of crown molding right here that needs to be replaced as well. And again, you've got substantial peeling in certain areas. So this would be the right side of the home. So that's pretty much it. That's what I found uh, as far as wood repair and the scope of the paintwork. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'll be happy to help any way that I can, but I will get this quote over to you here later today. Just one last point, we would be stopping on this side of the chimney. So from here over is where we would start on the right side. So if you have questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help any way that I can. But I'll get this quote over to you this evening. Thank you.